let's get to the Glacier Range Riders who have been rolling as of late. So the Range Riders have been on a tear lately that included an all-time franchise best 10-game winning streak. The win streak started back on July 6th in Billings where the Range Riders took care of business 15-6 versus the Mustangs. They won their next two games over the Mustangs to complete the series sweep. Then the Riders swept a six-game home series versus the Idaho Chuckers, Idaho Falls Chuckers, excuse me, at Glacier Bank Ballpark. After back-to-back -back series sweeps, the Riders' win streak sat at nine games, and they nailed down win number 10 with a 5-3 home win versus the Billings Mustangs on July 18th before the streak was ultimately snapped the following night in an 8-3 loss to the Mustangs at Glacier Bank Park. Overall, just an exciting stretch of baseball for the Range Riders' franchise best win streak. They're proving to be a real contender in the Pioneer League. The Pioneer League is now in the second half of the season, like I mentioned. The Riders are 34-18 and 18 overall, and that is the second most wins in the entire Pioneer League behind only the Missoula Paddleheads, whom the Riders trail in the Northern Division of the Pioneer League. So as we move into that home stretch of Pioneer League baseball, the Valley's Pro Baseball team looks like they have a great opportunity to build on a strong first half and make a statement over the next weekend as the Missoula Paddleheads will come to, excuse me, the next week as the Paddleheads will come to town at Glacier Bank Park for a six game set. So the Range Riders, you've got the top team in the, in the league coming to town. You're number two right now. It's a great chance to make a statement. It's gonna be a lot of fun for all the Valley baseball fans and everyone in attendance. That is a series that if you wanna see some high quality pro baseball being played right here at the Flathead Valley, you're not going to want to miss that one because the Paddleheads have some high quality talent and we've seen time and time again what the Range Riders are capable of this year. So these teams are going to be competing, they're going to be loaded, and there's going to be a lot of offensive firepower on the field for both squads. So that'll be a fun one. It starts Tuesday, July 25th and the series finale is Sunday, July 30th at 1.05 p.m. The Range Riders are back on the road with back-to-back three-game series on the road with the Billings Mustangs and then in Great Falls with the Voyagers. So... They'll be back in the Valley August 7th. Let's talk about a couple Range Riders leaders among the stat categories, some guys who are driving forces in this offense. We'll start with the offense and we'll move to the pitching. Let's start with some offensive numbers, and these stats are as of the Riders off day Monday, July 24th. So here we go. Dean Miller is leading the team with a batting average of a 352 while pacing the team with 18 doubles and 69 hits. Range Rider shortstop Gabe Howell has been a driving force for the Riders offense this season. From the leadoff spot guy at the top of the order, Howell leads the team in the following categories. On base percentage, he sits at 472, walks with 45, stolen bases 21, home runs 11, and runs scored with 59. That is the type of production that you really want out of your leadoff spot at the top of the order. There's a correlation to winning when you have guys like Miller in the middle of the lineup, driving and runs, hitting doubles, batting at a high pace, and then Gabe Howell's an on-base machine. So guys like Miller and the guy we're about to mention, Jackson Raper, the team leading it, team leader in RBIs, have plenty of opportunities to drive in those runs. Raper is currently sitting at 49 runs batted and to lead the way. So those three are all a major key of a Range Riders offense. There's other names you could throw in there. Benjamin Fitzgerald has been raking. Cruz Taylor had a game recently with two home runs in the first inning. One was a grand slam. You don't see that every day. So that's a testament to what the Riders are doing as a team batting through the order and giving a guy opportunity to hit through twice and the second time with the bases loaded. But Cruz Taylor's been raking. But So Gabe Howell, Dean Miller, Jackson Raper, three guys who have been driving forces statistically for the Riders. As for the pitchers, Noah Barros has a team high, five wins, and Barros is tied with Jonathan Pintaro for a team strikeout lead with 49 strikeouts apiece. Justin Coleman has been clutch out of the bullpen. There was recently a solid feature on Coleman and Mason Dennison from the Interlakes Fritz neighbor. Go check that out online on the interlake.com. But Justin Coleman has been clutch out of the bullpen. Team high, five saves. He struck out 41 in just 25 innings of work. You do the math, that's pretty dang good ratio while only walking six batters totes an era of 2.81 so overall safe to say justin coleman is a major factor to the rider's success with his ability to get outs late in games in key situations 